Hi, I'm Kevin Koss and you're on Cocktail Time. Today's episode will be all gold everything, including the golden actor Honey. We'll make two versions of the Gold Rush cocktail and we'll serve one with actual gold. You don't want to miss this. Let's start. It's cocktail time. World Gold Day is a thing, apparently, and this year it was on October 20th. It was a day to celebrate gold's unique social, cultural and economic contribution to society. The same could be said for a well-made cocktail too. So let's make a gold rush. For that we will need bourbon, lemon juice and honey. And because we love to support local producers, I asked my good friend David, who is a beekeeper, to bring over some of his honey, which he did. Thanks man. No problem at all. Hey Kevin, do you know why beekeepers have such beautiful eyes? Because beauty is in the eyes of the beeholder. I'll see myself out. David is a hobby beekeeper, using only the Slovenian indigenous bee species Carniolan honeybees. They are the pride of Slovenian beekeepers and produce different types of honey. His Instagram page is filled with interesting and educational content about bees and beekeeping, so make sure to check that out. For our gold rush, we'll use his linden honey. Honey on its own is quite thick and it won't incorporate with other ingredients. So first, we have to turn it into honey syrup. We'll have to do some math here, but let's try to get a 1 to 1 ratio of sugar to water. Around 82% of honey is sugar. So if we use 100 grams of honey, we get 82 grams of sugar and 18 grams of water with some additional minerals and pollen. So we need additional 64 grams of water to get to 82 grams altogether, the same amount as sugar. Mix it up to dissolve. And just like that, we have a true 1 to 1 honey syrup. So let's use it to make our bee version of the whiskey sour. The Gold Rush was created by TJ Siegel, the friend and business partner of the cocktail guru Sasha Petraske at the original milk and honey bar in New York. Like the business cocktail, which is made with gin, this bourbon based cocktail uses honey as its sweetener. And that's a component that truly makes it unique. Depending on the variety of honey you use, you'll end up with different notes being highlighted. Forest honey will be a lot different from floral honey. And even the same kind of honey at a different location will yield different results. We are ready to strain, but first we need a chill glass. Thank you. Honey. The small amount of protein in the honey and the long hard shake will ensure there is a little bit of foam on the top of the cocktail. Garnish with a lemon peel. The gold rush is here. Let's give it a try. The citrus, which hits your nose first, plays so well with the floral notes of the linden honey. And the sweet and sour components are perfectly balanced with bourbon, providing the body and the richness that make this a truly wonderful cocktail. It has a long evolution with the three ingredients dancing from the background to the foreground until you inevitably take another sip. You have to be strong-willed not to finish this straight away. 
we do have another cocktail to make after all. And this will be another cocktail time special. We combine the sweet and sour components into a honey pollen cordial. Here is how to make it. To start, we made some chamomile tea. For every 250 ml of hot water, we need 2.5 grams of chamomile. Chamomile tea has a ton of health benefits, so make extra if you want. But we'll leave this to steep for 5 minutes, then strain and let it cool. In the meantime, get your blender ready and then add all the ingredients, starting with 200 ml of chamomile tea, and 200 grams of linden honey. You don't want to add it to hot tea, because it will destroy the nutrients in the honey. And for additional honey taste, we'll add 5 grams of bee pollen. Pollen can be used as a topping for yogurt or cereal, blended into smoothies and of course used for cocktails. And to balance the sweetness, we'll add some acidity. Start with 2 grams of grated zest of a lemon, which we'll then squeeze to get 45 ml of lemon juice. And another 15 grams of citric acid. Blend everything until well incorporated and place in the fridge for at least 24 hours. Leave it sitting upright so the sediments stay in the jar when we filter it through a cheesecloth. But before we do that, skim the foam that has formed on the top. Gently pour through a cheesecloth and swap the filter into another bowl when the liquid start to become clearer. This happens when the mixture itself creates an additional filter on the top of the cheesecloth. Then we filter the liquid from the first bowl because this will be too good to waste. Final step, as always, is to bottle and label it. And we are ready for a honey pollen gold rush. But before we start, let's get our glass and decoration ready. Thank you. We'll use a single, large, clear ice cube and stamp it with our signature mustache. And then, to celebrate World Gold Day, carefully place an edible gold leaf on top. It is a gold rush after all. We will stir this cocktail, so grab your mixing glass and chill it first. Then add 60 ml or 2 ounces of your preferred bourbon. We are using Maker's Mark, it's known for its red wax seal. To that we'll add 30 ml or 1 ounce of our homemade honey pollen cordial. And because we want to accentuate all of the flavors, we'll add one drop of saline solution, just like we did with the classic Gold Rush. Stir for at least 30 seconds to achieve proper dilution and chilling of the cocktail. A properly chilled cocktail will melt the ice cube in your glass much slower. Which we also have to be careful not to pour our drink over, since that would tear the gold leaf. Edible gold is possible only with a specific type of gold, E175, and it has to be pure. I have to say, this looks kinda cool, but let's see how it turned out. Since we didn't squeeze any citrus peels over the cocktail, it's not the lemon that you taste first, but the sweetness and the strength of the bourbon. 
followed by the silky mellow mix of honey and lemon from our honey pollen cordial. Stirring it with the cordial instead of shaking with lemon juice and honey syrup made this into a smooth slow sipping cocktail which I'm enjoying very much. Since we shot this episode, another major lockdown of bars happened here in Slovenia and many other countries around the world. Jean Feli from Truffles on the Rocks channel created this cocktail the Beastie Joy for an awesome initiative. Watch his short video and all the revenue he makes from it in the next 6 months will go to the Bartender's Benevolent Fund. I'll leave a link to the video in the bin comment below. Our channel isn't monetized yet, but we'll still donate during the same period. We'll give 5 euros for every thousand views our Gold Rush video gets. Thanks for watching and thanks for helping. Cheers to Jean Feli and cheers to everybody in the hospitality community. We'll get through this together. That's it for today. I hope you learned something new and I'll leave you with a quote from Bob Marley. Don't gain the world and lose your soul. Wisdom is better than silver and gold. Cheers. Sasha. Uh, tipo pa bolno študira, kak bi tam ne naredili. Še ne naredili. Ajde. <laughs> Sem Celebrate Gold's unique social, cultural... <laughs> Cultur cultural... Cultural... Honey on its own is quite thick, so it won't incorporate with other ingredients. So first, we have to turn it into a honey syrup. Zakaj je to še? Hi, my name is Kevin Koz, and this is... Cocktail time. Thanks for watching till the end and for your support so far. If you like this episode, share it with a friend. And as always, 